today I am doing a recipe that I chose for the, the instant pot and it's going to be mac and cheese. One of my favorite things to eat so let's go. I just want to say thanks to the, that commenter who uh, suggested to make a video for an instant pot recipe so um, thank you. I got this recipe from the salty marshmallow so um I hope he's okay with that. <laughs> I don't know how YouTube rules work. This is three cups of cheese. So you guys pick whatever cheese you want. I pick Swiss and cheddar, so yeah. For the instant pot, I'm going to boil um, four cups of water so I can dissolve the, um, the chicken broth cubes in it. So I'm gonna do that right now. So for me on the box, it says one cube for two cups. So I am, in this case, I'm gonna take two cubes for four cups. And away we go. So cool. I just added both of the cubes. So I'll leave it alone for two minutes and then I'll stir it. Okay guys, it's time to stir, stir, stir. Okay, it is now dissolved, awesome. 16 ounces of pasta. This recipe is asking for, I believe, four cups. I'm not sure, but we will all see. Oops. Oh, geez, I put too much in. Mm. Oh, it says right here. <gasps> two cups. Maybe if I mix the um, dry pasta in with this, I can see if it needs two or four cups of pasta. Oh, jeez. Mm. That looks like a lot of cheese. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so it's like two cups and then some. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, I changed my mind. Four cups it is. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna add garlic powder now. I don't have a teaspoon. It's supposed to be half. A teaspoon. I only have a tablespoon, so we'll see. Ooh, that smells so good. Garlic powder. Mm. Does this look like half a teaspoon? It's more like half a tablespoon. Maybe I should put less. Alright, there you go. Now we'll do quarter of no. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. I can open the bag. Oh my god. I open these bags. Okay, so half a teaspoon of pepper. Mmm. That look like it? Looks like half of a tablespoon. All right. Then. What else? My bad. I have to add another half 
teaspoon of garlic. So it's one teaspoon of garlic in total. Now I have to check for salt. Half a teaspoon of salt. I just realized that this has been taking me about an hour to do. <laughs> okay, I think that's too much salt. I'm gonna try and shove it back in there. Mm. Oh yeah, I dropped it. Was it? I have to do the salt behind my back. <laughs> All right. We want one teaspoon of hot pepper sauce. You can use whatever you like. It might be too much. That is a okay. Okay, I think now I'm only missing the butter and the milk, but the milk comes later. So I'm going to go and shove this in the Instant Pot now. There you go. This is, I just put it in. I'm going to just stir it a bit. So exciting, isn't it? Okay, I think that's sufficiently mixed. Okay, so this recipe calls for two tablespoons of butter oh i should check if it's salted or not Hang on. okay well uh i have unsalted so i think i've put enough salted stuff in there with the i'll just add salt later if it's not salted enough then you get to know if you should add salt or not so Oh, jeez, I wasn't paying attention. I don't know if that's enough butter. Mm. All right, that looks like two tablespoons. I don't know what it looks like. It's supposed to look like. Anyways, yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay, so this is everything minus the milk. So now I'm going to put on the settings for the Instant Pot. Trying to get the hang of it. Yeah, so high, so pressure cook equals manual. High pressure for five minutes. And they said quick release. I think it's this one. I'm pretty sure it's this one. And now we wait. Oh, it feels like it's been longer than five minutes, so I'm gonna just re-look at the instructions again. Um, oh, now it decides to say five minutes. Hey, it's ready. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick release. Let's do this. God, it smells amazing. It smells like it smells like Swiss cheese, which is funny because I added that, but it smells like I don't know something else added onto it. I just smell Swiss cheese, and I love Swiss cheese. So I'm like, yes. Time to add the milk, and this is what it looks like. I realized I should have added the the cheese after. <laughs> Not before, but that's okay. We'll see. I'll just start stirring it. Okie dokie. I will be back in a jiffy. All right, I think I know what to do. I want to save this dish by throwing in, throwing in an egg. So it kind of acts like a binder, I guess. And we'll see how that goes. Mm, I hope this works. I think I'm going to add cornstarch. Mm. 
All right, I don't know how much cornstarch to add, but less is more, I think. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of corn. I just added right now. Let's see how that looks. I might add another egg. Okay, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> oh jeez, I think I'm gonna add another egg. Wait, you know what, let me think about it. I don't wanna waste food. Mm. Okay, let's, how about let's, how about let's taste it and see if it's any good. Oh, that's good. Okay, thank God. All right. It's mac and cheese, but the consistency is not there. So, um, uh, I, this is good enough for me for my first try. So, um, yeah. just want to say I hope you guys try out new things like I do make mistakes like I do if you want to make this recipe learn from my mistakes and what I did and uh, go out there and have fun and yep see you in the next one bye